Turkey's first Herjet light combat aircraft developed and produced by the Turkish Aerospace Industries has entered the ground test phase. The new advanced jet trainer and light attack aircraft rolled out to the public and completed the first engine run-up test. Herjet is a single-engine, tandem-seat, supersonic advanced trainer and light combat aircraft designed to replace the Northrop T-38 Talon in the trainer role and also to supplement the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon for close air support. Within the scope of the project, it is planned to produce two prototypes of flyable aircraft and one static and one fatigue test aircraft to be used in test activities. The light combat aircraft has a length of 13.6 meters, a wingspan of 9.5 meters, a height of 5.1 meters, and a wing area of 35 square meters. Recently, the Defense Industry Executive Committee decided to place the first Herjet order for the Turkish Air Force Command. The Herjet project, which was initiated with Thai's own resources, thus took on the armor of the state. The intended date of service entry for the Herjet is 2023. Turkey has some interesting military aircraft and drones currently under development that it hopes will make their maiden flights in the coming year, the country's centennial. However, the most sophisticated aircraft by far currently under development in Turkey, the Turkish Aerospace Industries, Tire Tusas, TFX National Fighter Jet, will not grace Turkish skies during centennial ceremonies as previously hoped. In November, a video showed the initial prototype of the TFX taking form on the assembly line. Turkey reportedly aims to roll it out on March 18, 2023, which analysts note may be an overly ambitious timeline. Turkish officials had high hopes that the TFX could fly in 2023 on time for the centennial. In November 2017, Turkish Defense Minister Nurettin Kaikli claimed the aircraft would become operational by 2023. I won't give an exact date, but our primary goal is to make it fly in 2023, he said. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan expressed similar hopes in February 2020. I hope our warplane, which will use domestic resources at every stage of design and production, will fly out of the hangar in 2023, he said. In June 2019, Thai displayed a mock-up of the TFX at the Paris Air Show. Thai President and CEO Temel Kotal claimed it was going to be the best fighter aircraft in Europe and said he expected the prototype to make its maiden flight in 2025. At present, the TFX prototype is expected to make its first flight around 2025-26, with the first production aircraft rolling off the assembly line sometime in the early 2030s. But even that projection could ultimately prove optimistic. Furthermore, Ankara will likely end up compromising on the aircraft's stealth features in order to begin serial production on time. As a result, the first versions will, at best, be a highly advanced 4.5-generation aircraft, not wholly unlike the Block 1 variant of the upcoming KF-21 Boromi fighter under development in South Korea. On the other hand, we will likely see some other Turkish aircraft and drones flying for the first time in 2023. Baraktar Kizilelma the Baraktar Kizilelma jet-powered prototype completed taxi and takeoff trials in November 2022. Its maiden flight will most likely commence in early 2023. The Kizilelma is Turkey's first jet-powered drone. Baker claims it will be a force to be reckoned with, specifically given its aggressive maneuvering capability and stealthiness against radar. In addition to having a Kanner Delta configuration that resembles China's J-20 Mighty Dragon stealth fighter, the Kizilelma also features an internal weapons bay and can even fire air-to-air -air missiles, potentially offering it some protection against enemy drones or helicopters. The drone's expected maximum takeoff weight will be 6,000 kg pounds, which includes a 1,500 kg 3,306 pounds payload. It will carry out intelligence gathering and strike operations. Baker also claims the Kizilelma will come equipped with an indigenous active electronically scanned array ESA, radar and will be able to take off and land on short runway aircraft carriers, such as Turkey's upcoming TCG Anadolu, minus 400 lira, amphibious assault ship. Thai, Gexunger Simsek. Thai is also developing a subsonic drone with a maximum speed of Mach 0.7 that will be named either Gexunger, Sky, or Simsek, Thunder. The drone is designed for gathering intelligence and providing fire support. 
A Thai official confided to Defense News that the company also hopes to develop a fully supersonic version. The anonymous official also claimed that Thai is experimenting with using the small drone in combined operations with the company's Exunger drone, the largest drone built by Turkey to date. Thai may eventually develop a smaller version that could be launched from the Exunger. The first of the drone is expected to take flight in February 2023. Thai T-929 Attack 2. Thai is also developing the T-929 Attack 2, a successor to the T-129 Attack Attack helicopter. The Attack 2 will be significantly heavier, with twice the takeoff weight of its predecessor, which was developed on the airframe of the Italian Augustus Land A-129 with Turkish-built components and subsystems. The upcoming heavy attack helicopter can carry various Turkish-made munitions, including unguided rockets, guided long-range jumtas anti-tank and Sirat 70mm missiles, and air-to-air -air missiles. The T-929 is slated to serve in the Turkish land forces, as well as the Turkish Navy. In the latter, it will operate from the TCG Anadolu. Turkey's US-built A-1 Cobra attack helicopters will serve on the flagship as an interim solution until the Attack 2 enters service sometime around 2025. In June 2021, after it was officially announced that Thai would procure 14 engines for the T-929 from Ukraine's Motor Sich, Thai CEO Kotel highlighted the symbolic importance of having such new locally developed aircraft taking flight during Turkey's centennial. In its 100th year, we, as Thai, will make an assertive entry into 2023, he said. It will be a year in which almost all of our projects will take flight.